as you see you use the the selection tool with the selection tool you can do a lot of things from the property uh, transform property in here for example you can select the object of course you can move its position like this here x y position in here you can move them you can change the size like this change the size on here here or like this and also you can use the selection to do the rotation the rotation tool in here just use for rotate the select object like this they can just rotate a select object and they cannot select the other object and cannot do more than a rotation so you can use the selection tool to do all kind of stuff even for rotation like this and you select another one rotate it like this so just use the selection tool more than the rotation tool in here and here this rotation is the property you can change that or you can pick it that yourself if you need to position the object exactly on on the frame in here you can type again by number so this very precisely and very faster to put it put that on like this if you want you can freely to put it like this here and as you see in here this is the title property you can change the appearance like the property in here the property in here for the text and for the graphic they have little bit not the same in here for the property and the tent form is the same as you select a text or graphic and the fill stroke shadow they have the same same parameter in here but the property in here is depend on the text or the graphic you select for example in here the property for the text that the form you can change the form size the the form style like this so you can change the form in here like this so you change the form and you can change the font size like this the font size in here is not the same as the uh, size in the object here this the the object size in here wide and high like this and this the font size they both do the same thing almost but these are all object for example if you insert a uh, graphic inside the, the text in here so both the uh, graphic inside the text and the text they move this uh, change the size in here and if you just change the size in here the object the graphic inside the text they want if I'm not change this the different and here the leading leading is the between the the text in here and here the kerning like this between the, the character tracking like this so you can check it how they look like you can adjust them that is a baseline shift here in here you see this the baseline a text baseline so you can here baseline shift so you can shift the text from the baseline like the baseline in here if you want you can turn it on or turn it off you can turn it on turn it off from here text baseline you click it turn it off like this you don't see the text baseline you can turn it on like this okay and here you see slant the text slant so you can make it like this and small capital you made it all okay we change the form so you can see that much easy you turn back to the slant to zero here you turn all the small cap capital letter like this turn it off here how are you like this you can check it how are you and here you can change the small capital size like this you can change the small capital size in here you see we get back to here turn off here and here underline you can add the underline on it on the text like this add the underline on it 
and here this chalk you can distort the text x and y you see this the appearance if you for example if you do some something like halloween the text look like something like this so you can make the feel how they feel look lying on here you can turn it back to zero like this this is how you use the property for the text in here and here we have the fill the fill color fill color and stroke and shadow we can check it the fill we have the option here solid linear gradient ratio gradient four color gradient bevel eliminated goals like this so you can select it at the the first one solid so you can just apply a solid color like this and if you change to a linear gradient so you have two color you can select two color here to make as a gradient like this and also the gradient you can change the the angle gradient angle like this on the text here you see we take an example on here so you can see this much easy solid linear linear gradient like this you can pick up the color and uh, the angle about the linear angle like this so you can change that and here this is a color stop color and you can of course you click on here and you can select the color from here like this and if you want you can use the color picker so you can pick up the color any any color from the user interface in here first you select the color here then you change the color from here like this and here we have the color stop opacity this individual from the color here like this if you select on here you can change the color stop opacity like this they have the totally transparent in here this is the way you can select it and here angle you now get repeat how many times they repeat it three times here you see three times repeat on here zero repeat like this two times repeat three times uh, 20 in here here you can make it in here for example send you can make a cut on here and size here you see you can make a thin thin opacity you can change it so in here and you can add a texture you enable a texture so you click on here you can select the texture in here for example let's check it if we can see the texture yes we can set the texture another one we can add a texture like this on the object here here you see the texture apply on it how about the text can we add a texture on it it seems to be okay here you can select a texture okay this one here you see the texture on the text we can change for another one like this one here how they look like here yeah, that's wonderful texturing texturing on the object here and we have okay we go back to here we have linear gradient radial gradient radial gradient you ap apply on this one so you can see this radial gradient first we remove and disable the the texture here and in here we, we, we can check it we can change for the opacity here and to know the scene this is the radian radial gradient so you can change the color repeating 20 back to 0 no repeating here so you see you can do radial gradient like this and here you have four color gradient so you select the color in here and pick up the color on the scene like this select it or pick up the color from here 
So, and here, the shin, you can add a shin, like a reflection, like this, or you can change the reflection like any color. Here, here. The, also the angle, like this, that's totally free, free to you to make the appearance on, on the object in, in the title here. And here they have the fill and we have go to the stroke. Stroke here we can add a inner stroke and outer stroke like this. Okay, we turn this back to solid so you can see this much easy. Turn off this, turn off this. Okay, a single color. Uh, inner stroke, we click on here to add an inner stroke here. So, we add an inner stroke. Here you can change the edge like this. this the type of the, the edge, depth, edge, drop, face like this, so you can change the appearance on it. We make us edge in here, and we can change the edge color like this. The black color we change to a green color like this, so you can change it. And also you can change the opacity on the on the stroke in here, so you change the opacity. Something you can add a add a sheen on the on the on the stroke like this so you can the size may size so you can see this okay we first uh may a large stroke here so you can see this a uh, stroke here uh shin like reflection and here angle like this so you may angle on it the angle on the reflection the shin texture here you know that you can add a texture on the stroke here we just select any of this here you see okay we add another one a large one for example this one here this the texture on the stroke here you add a reflection like this texture enable disable here this the stroke in here and also if you want you can add a, a outer stroke outer stroke here this is the inner stroke we can collapse in here add an outer outer stroke in here we click here in outer size in here so the same option you can make it in here the size inner this inner this outer this the fill color here the fill color you can change it like this inner stroke outer stroke here so you can change the opacity may a refraction shin size like this so you can change all the same as the inner stroke you can make it and check it and here we have the shadow uh, for the shadow I turn off the the stroke here so you can see that that's easy and here you can enable the shadow like this here they have the shadow you can change the the color about the shadow like this you can pick up a color from anywhere or just change the color line okay a pink color on here a pink color here you see and here the opacity for the shadow and the angle and the distance the size and spread first I move the size on it so you can see this much easy here the size the opacity here in here this the shadow is not a strong because you can move its distance move its angle like this all around on it like this here and spread so you make it like this spread spread size here so it here has move continue transparency on the edge in here or you make it zero a sharp edge like this and here the size you know get you change get the distance angle opacity of other shadow spread like this so you can control this shadow here and the color in here there's all kind of stuff you can make it with the combination of, of this kind of stuff so you can make a wonderful wonderful title in here on the object here
so you can experiment one by one how the function in here they make it one by one like this they have four gradient variable goes like this they make it like the ghost they have nothing on it but you can add a shadow on it so they have a shadow like this spread shadow so they look like this so you can combine the function the property to make the appearance on the object in your title here that's up to you